Hello, welcome back to the channel and part three of my toolbox tour. The final part of the toolbox, then we'll move on to the service cart in part four. If you missed part one and two, there'll be a link up there. Let's go. Today we're going to be looking at all the drawers on this right hand side. Let's start with the top one, which is spanner drawer. So we've got some flex head ratchet spanners from 8 to 19. These were a Segan, Segan brand eventually. Uh, I've had them maybe eight or nine years. Honestly, can't complain about them, really. Don't remember how much they were. Probably a hell of a lot cheaper than these blue point ones, which I've had to replace them with. Uh, mainly because I've lost lost me 13, 12. Thought I'd lost me 19. I did my 19 break. I think I was swinging on it with, with a big lever, shall we say. Uh, and the 8 mil, the sort of ratchet mechanism fell out of it a couple of weeks ago. So I've only recently replaced that. But yeah. They do come in handy, ratchet spanners. Yeah, I wouldn't wouldn't be without them. Uh, then we've got some stubby spanners. They're trident ones. Again, I've had them eight or nine years. Um, Ten up to nineteen. You know, there is a bit of space in here. I could probably fill it with some some nice snap-on ones, but I'd never want to use them. I don't think. Uh, this was. I think I modified this, I had to cut the head off it to do an oil filter on a, like a two litre, I think Peugeot 3008, the filters are sort of nestled under the inlet manifold, there's the oil filler things in the way, it's a bit of a ball ache. Uh, we've got some kind of brake pipe spanners for sort of more classic-y type stuff. I think this one's pretty decent for adjusting rear brake shoes on a Mini, I think. Classic Mini. We've got some e torx spanners. These were about £9.99 off eBay. Yeah. Bargain. Uh, the only downside is, obviously, they're not that long. Um, I nearly bought some snap-on ones a couple of months ago because they were a hell of a lot longer, but I didn't bother in the end. Uh, then we've got a set of swan neck spanners. Again, these aren't you know, branded. These are these are Segan, which is a brand of Sealy. Um, eight mil up to nineteen, and then that big one is a twenty and a twenty-two. The only criticism I've got of these is it seems to miss a twenty-one mil swan neck, which a lot of strut tops seem to be twenty-one mil. So I may have to buy. A 21 mil. Oh, I've been saying this for years, but I've still never bought one. Somehow I manage, but that is the only downside with them. There's no 21 mil. And then these are my favourite spanners that I've currently got. These are uh, almost like aviation spanners. They're sort of extra length. Uh, flex head at both end, 8 and 10, 12 and 14, 13 and 15, 16 and 18, 17 and 19. Um, they cost me couple of hundred quid I think but when I bought them I got entered into a raffle to win a big snap on barbecue and I won it so bargain of the century I'm going to put it out there I'll stick a picture in of my barbecue now let's move on to the next drawer up next screwdrivers and sort of associated things uh, so we'll start here with the oldest tool I think in this drawer, or maybe there. These are some T-handled Allen keys from, uh, do they go from two mil up to seven mil? No, no, two, two and a half, three, four, five, and six. I did have a matching torque set to these as well, but I'd lost the 30, the T30, and I'd lost the T20. So I've taken the rest of them home, got rid of the case to give me more space. And I've got this to sort of replace that T-handled bit. Because it comes with sort of four interchangeable bits. So I think there's uh, 25 and 20. 
Uh, oh, well, no. 25, 30. 20 and 15, I think, in there. So that'll do me. Anything more, and I've got my bit set in the top drawer that I can use with my little, my little impact driver. We've got some pick pick set. These aren't that bad. These are about 30 quid, I think. And then we've got the longer, the longer ones. I had to modify that one because I dropped a. It was a stainless steel sort of washer type thing off a BMW X5. I dropped one of them down the turbo inlet, so I had to try and hook it out with that, bend it to sort of get round the elbow. But I got it, so uh, we've got a little screwdriver set, Phillips one and two, and then a couple of flatheads, and then the big screwdriver set, which is the newest addition, I think, in this drawer. We've got two Two stubbies, Phillips and flathead, Phillips one and a flathead, Phillips two flathead, longer Phillips two and a flathead, Phillips three, Phillips four, yeah, and then two even bigger flatheads. The only downside with that is I wish it was the hundredth edition one to match my toolbox. There is one on the van at the minute, but it's 160 quid. Enough. Can't justify it just to sort of match my toolbox. And then at the back we've got an impact driver, which I've had for as long as I can remember. You know, it's handy usually for taking sort of seized uh, brake disc bolts off. Comes quite in handy for that. Uh, I think that was before I had my, my sort of electric impact driver. Okay, draw number three. Pliers. So, what have we got in here? This set, I think is the first set I bought off the Snap-on van. It was reasonably, reasonably priced then, and I think it's still reasonably priced now. I think it was less than 100 quid. And obviously you get your, your adjustable, sort of mini water pump type pliers. Two sizes for side cutters, thin nose pliers, and then a sort of a 45 degree thin nose plier set of standard pliers, some adjustable pliers and then these, I find these are handy for doing clips on CV boots, that's where I usually use them, so that's that. More grips, I've never had a shit set of more grips, I've had these probably since I was doing my apprenticeship, set of Irwin vice grips. Um, yeah, they come in handy. And then we've got some circlet pliers. All of these ones came in a set. Obviously I've been the box because it didn't fit in this drawer. And um, the only problem I found is doing sort of heavier duty stuff. The biggest set in these was still a bit small and a bit flimsy for some sort of big circlips. So I had to buy this set, which is obviously an adjustable internal and external circlip plier. Just some scissors there because, you know, sort of cutting templates out for, for welding is what I mainly use them for. I've got my big set of water pump pliers. Again, I got them when I was at my first sort of place of work. Um, don't think they were that dear off the, the Sealy truck. Oil filter pliers, they were from Halfords. I think they're one of the first tools I ever bought. before I even started mechanic in, I think. Some more like an oil filter strap, and then this is the most recent tool I've bought, which was yesterday. It's a little uh, oil filter cup for, well, it reckons it'll do some Beamers, V-dubs, Mercs, Audis. So we will see. 14 flutes, apparently, 76 mil. Three and eight cents, that's the laser, a laser brand, that from Halfords, it was about seven quid. These are a handy set of pliers, blue point and the four. The clips you usually find on sort of air intake pipes, which are kind of a one use really. Without these, you struggle 
and getting them back on. But these are sort of reversible. You, you use them one way to undo, use them the other way to do up. And they do come in handy. Some more little adjustable pliers. I might bin these because they're not that good. When you do sort of try and grip something, I find the thing sort of slips up and it traps your fingers and, yeah, makes you swear every time. And then these snap on. Adjustable sort of things, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say I don't really use them, but looking at the state of them, I must use them. <laughs> so that is that drawer. Next drawer is, I'm going to call it the sort of engine building type drawer. So in here we have two straight edges at the back there. One's an 18 inch and I think one's a 24 inch. Obviously for checking the trueness, straightness of cylinder heads and cylinder blocks. An oil stone, probably need to replace that. I use that for cleaning the top of cylinder heads. I think that was from screw fix, something you'd like you'd sharpen uh, blades and knives with. Feeler gauges, piston ring compressor, um, valve spring compressor, and these two things that I made up, I can't remember what cylinder head I was doing, but I couldn't get in to put the collets back in with this adapter on so I had to kind of make my own and yeah did the job uh, valve grinding paste and sticks we've got a cylinder honing tool um, and torque angle gauge thing which to be honest I don't really use anymore you if it's if it's a nice angle you know I usually just paint mark it you know where 180 is half a turn 90 degree quarter of a turn so, yeah, that's obsolete, I'm going to say. Compression tester. Uh, that's the first one I ever bought. I think that was from Halfords, probably eight or nine years ago. Um, it's been a good tester, to be honest. The only downside with it is... Obviously, a lot of newer stuff, they have the really small threaded spark plugs. So that's sort of more classic mini old school type stuff and that's for you know newer stuff but I've just recently bought this one which comes with these even smaller threaded sort of spark plug adapters so hopefully I'll get to use that soon this one's another compression tester that's a cheap Bergen one off eBay, probably 15 quid, I don't, I don't even remember. I bought it for a Fiesta because this one wouldn't screw in to the spark plugs, I'm not sure why. I don't know if the thread on here wasn't quite long enough. But I bought this thinking it would do the job. Um, I could probably bin this to be honest. I don't think this would do it either. I had to use that, which you kind of just hold in and try and seal up the cylinder as best you can. But I was borrowing another lad that I worked with. He had a Bergen one. Can't remember what I was doing, but I ruined his gauge. It filled up with, can't remember if it filled up with oil or petrol. So I had to give him the gauge out of mine to repair his. So I think that is probably scrap because I've got this one now. So. We'll bin that. Yeah, it's good doing these videos. I get to sort my toolbox out a bit. So a couple of compression testers, a gasket scraper, some little uh, needle files, different shapes, flat, half round, triangle square, fully round. Bigger set of files, they're ancient as well. This is a dipstick for checking automatic gearbox oil on Mercedes yeah can't remember what model year some of them don't come with dicks you you get like a security cap on the on the transmission sort of dipstick or dip filler and no way to tell how much is in it so I had to get one of them set of standard allen keys 
standard set of Torx bit, and then just another scraper, some cheap picks, which, yeah, do come in handy. Uh, that's probably all right for the cooling pipes and stuff. I'll have to try that. But yeah, so that is the sort of engine building draw. Looks like I've created some more space in there. I'll have to buy some more stuff. Oh, and we've got this snap-on pink and black blower. To be honest, the length of that sometimes is a hindrance, so I might have to get a shorter one. And then the bottom drawer is just really another junk drawer. Junk drawer number three or number two. Can't remember now. Uh, so we've got a battery charger there. I actually lent that, or somebody lent that out of my toolbox. F fucking ages ago. Didn't know where it was, asked around, it didn't turn up, so I bought another one. And literally, maybe two weeks later, that fucker turned up, didn't it? Tossers. Uh, just a hat there and the wing cover. This is a set of trim tools. Got the metal one and then a load of various plastic ones. Snap on. Uh, some Cunifer brake pipe. A gasket for a Corsa timing, timing chitting, uh, timing case or Astra, various models. We've got this, which is my burning torch, which at my previous work, we didn't have any sort of burning gear. So any seized bolts we had to try and do with something like that. Obviously, now I'm here, we have some oxyacetylene over there. So it's not an issue anymore. If that won't shift it, nothing will. Got my charger for my uh, Milwaukee batteries. We've got a puller, can be used as a three-legged or two-legged puller, sort of hub puller type thing as well, that's come in handy a few times, brake drums and that mainly, that are stubborn to shift. Um, that's part of a timing tool for N47 BMW engines. I think that is a little bag of more die grinder bits. You can just see one sticking out there. Chalk, old school coil spring compressors. To be honest, I don't really use them, but I just can't chuck them out. Uh, we've got some new brackets for my transit out there. One of them will be getting used very soon because I've got the leaf spring. It's got new bushes in each end now. Just need to clean it up and give it a paint, and then that's ready to go back on. So there, just hangers for that. I think that's an oil filter for me, me Ibiza. <clears throat> uh, some LED lights. I think I'm going to put them on the back of my recovery truck as well. Just for when I'm loading up at night time, I can sort of see what I'm doing. Some bonnet pins that a lad I used to work with gave me. And this is just a drawer full of, uh, a little tin full of, Shitty bits. We've got a fuel pump, my pressure pump off a 2010 one series. That petrol, petrol engine. Just some brick caliper bolts. Little solenoids off a mini or a Beamer petrol engine. Sort of lifting eyes for doing engines, lifting them out. A big locking pin for a Corsa. Yes, yeah, just some random. Shit. This drawer could probably be used better, but I mean, I'm not massively struggling for space at the minute, so I'm not too concerned. But that is that. <clears throat> Just put it all back. <clears throat> so there we are, then, that is part three. Done, hopefully not too uh, not too long winded. I know I can chat some shit like, but <laughs> thanks for watching this part. Part four is gonna be my service car, which is right there. I'm not gonna show you because no fuck it, I will. Just after a day's work this.
So, just a blue point, I think 200 quid that was. I do fancy upgrading that, but um, for, uh, they, just, they just get fucking abused, so I can't really justify spending a shitload on one when it comes under jobs with me. It gets, you know, stuff accidentally gets dropped on it, it gets chipped and whatnot, so we'll see. Anyway, that's by the by that, so thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye.